Hello, welcome to MIP2MP. MIP2MP is a solution that helps us to build a management pack for operation manager from a MIB given by the provider of a network device. Here you can see the studio. Studio is the local part of the solution. It is built on the same philosophy as uh, Visual Studio from Microsoft. Everything that is uh, in the upper panel is regarding the MIB. Everything that will be in the bottom panel will be regarding the management pack. First thing we will have to do is to build a project. So we click on the create project button and we choose to create a management pack for HP Procurve. Here you can fill in a description and the studio also gives you the possibility to load well-known MIPS as soon as we have uh, imported the objects, we can see on the left the ID tree that has been built with, in the middle, uh, the different objects in every OID uh, component. Um, now we can detail uh, names, OID, object types, syntax and the MIB where every object has been pulled from. We want to go now a little bit further. On the right you can see also properties linked to each object. Um, we want to go a little further and load some uh, specific MIPS uh, describing our HP Procurve um, uh, hardware. Click on the MIPS. We load all the MIPS here. Uh, down we've got an output. Some uh, MIPS may be sometimes misspelled. Uh, there may be mistakes. So it's quite useful uh, to look at to give a look at uh, the output. Uh, let's drill down to HP Etherswitch and we can see a bunch of properties that have been uh, loaded and presented in the middle. Um, inside system we can see well-known uh, OIDs like description, object ID, contacts, his name and so on. We want to create a discovery. Let's choose system description and add it to a new discovery. Uh, here we choose a name for this discovery, which will be HP Procurve. Then we will choose a class name, we will use the same one, HP Procurve. This discovery will help us to uh, detect the different components. Here we have an expression builder. We can here use a very simple expression like system description, contains substring like Procurve, we could add uh, other criteriums as well. Uh, the problem here is uh, how can I be sure that the expression I've entered uh, matches what will be given back by the device. So we can use the um, expression tester, which is here, which is um, a module that helps us to ask the real device so here we choose a device name for only for the list of uh, testings. Uh, we specify an IP. And we will be able to perform two kinds of tests. The first one is uh, to run a SNMP basic test asking for the well-known uh, um, queries like name and so on. Here we can see in the, in the description that Procurve is uh, returned, but we want to test our specific discovery uh, rule. We can also test all the components. So let's click on test selected item. And the test has been performed. It is green, so that means that our test is successful. Uh, otherwise, the reply would be red. So now I want to monitor uh, properties from my device. Uh, I don't know exactly where uh, this can be hidden in the OID tree, so I look for a CPU and look into the search. And here is one pretty good uh, indicator, uh, HP Switch CPU stat. And I find it interesting to create a rule based on that. It can be an event rule or a performance rule. Here we choose a performance rule. And we will uh, enter properties, like here the name, we can also add a description. You can notice that uh, the ID has been filled up automatically. 
The Intel Valor also has been positioned to uh, best practice uh, recommended uh, value. Uh, we can add uh, some information here um, that will be added into the final management plan. Now that we have created a rule, we also would like to have a monitor. So let's choose a probe monitor. This probe monitor will be surveying some values from the device. We will choose uh, a name, CPU utilization. This is a two-state uh, monitor. Uh, on the left, we choose here healthy. Uh, the parent monitor will be selected as performance. Uh, the interval has been selected to 300 seconds, which is the recommended value. And here we can also uh, edit our formula. Uh, let's choose CPU is less or equal than 80%. Specify integer value, otherwise by default it would be a string and if you compare strings sometimes the result is not exactly what you would expect. Uh, on the right, uh, the other state will be error. And so to specify what will give this uh, uh, condition, we just drag and drop to the formula and specify the opposite value greater than 80 percent integer so we'll have either healthy or error state and that's it so let's give a try just to check if uh, our uh, monitor is okay so we'll use the test module right now same as the former time but now we can just reselect what we have entered so we don't have to type it once again and just select to test uh, our monitor uh, here we can see that the value is okay so it looks like healthy since 63 uh, when we compare it as an integer is less or equal than 80 so that's okay for that so now uh, we are happy with our project. We will save it and we will generate uh, it as a management pack for our operation manager. So save it as an M2M uh, format file. So we have built our project. We have tested all the rules. We are happy with that. Now it's time for us to put it on the website to generate the management packs. So the first thing to do here is to connect to the MIP2MP website and you access your private uh, space where you can download the studio and you can also gain access to your project. Into your project you select the uh, MIP2MP file we have saved, HP Procurved, and you click upload. It will be uploaded to your private store, uh, it's not shareable uh, so far. Let's go to the generation part, click on the button generate MP and here you can see the several options, very few. Uh, the first one is obviously the platform, uh, OPS 2007 or 2 or 2012. Some differences in the way uh, OPS uh, manages uh, network devices between the two, that's why we had to specify. If you want to have some uh, documentation, uh, including everything that has been put into the management pack, you can specify one of the two formats or both. Um, one little thing here, you have to specify the management group, uh, which will be the target for your uh, management pack. Uh, this management group uh, uh, appears at the top of uh, Ops Manager window. So let's enter it. Click next and here you can see that management pack generation will be free of charge. Click generate. That's it. So in a few seconds our management pack will appear in our MP section. Just the time for it to be generated by the engine. I go to the management pack area and here I can see that my management pack has been generated. So I select download MP. I save 
my results on my computer. Let's give a look at what we have downloaded. Uh, within the zip file that has been downloaded, we can see several files. Uh, the two MP files, uh, our library and uh, um, the management pack by itself. Also uh, MBPA report and the MP generator log uh, that gives us uh, an insight on what happened uh, in the engine. We are only going to use the two MP files, so let's go and paste them in the computer and then we go we can switch to uh, ops manager console and import management pack add from disk select the proper place open it yeah install these two files are being imported by ops um, the library is quite important for all our management packs. Uh, it has to be imported just once, but uh, the management pack by itself cannot function without it. Within a few seconds, we're going to be OK. And uh, Ops Manager will begin to create bunches of objects linked uh, by, uh, described by our management pack. So the first one is to look at the HP Procurve MP, a new thing that has been created. Within that, you can see four views. The first one to look at is maybe the state view, which is for the moment empty since uh, nothing has been grabbed yet as properties. After a little while, our discovery has run and we have started to collect some information and the state view appears. Here we can see that it is healthy. Underneath, we see all the information that have been collected. Uh, if we go to the performance view, yet we don't have any information, they will arrive uh, as soon as data is collected by Ops. If we drill on the Health Explorer, give a look at that, we can find back our CPU utilization uh, performance indicator. And on the right pane, we could see every knowledge that we would have provided within the mid 20 studio. This is how very simply we have created a management pack based on a MIP file within 10 minutes, no syntax, no just drag and drop. Uh, we hope you will enjoy using MIP2MP. Please visit our website, mim2mp.com. And uh, thank you. Bye.